Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Basic Funda. I am Anshika Agrawal and in today's video we will see how we can generate unit test cases for the plugins that we write with the help of GitHub Copilot. And also we'll try to see more commands with the help of which you can ask Copilot to explain the code to fix the issues within your code or you can ask Copilot to explain the code. So I have just one CS file. I am into Visual Studio Code. And in my previous video, I have already told you how you can activate your GitHub Copilot. We have also seen some different commands that can be useful. So you can check out those videos. But here in today's video, I have taken this CS file. Okay, it's a small plugin just from the Google. I have taken it just to show you an example. Now let's open the chat box. So I'm sorry. Uh, yes. So this is the chat box. So with this, we will try to do, if you see, whenever you type slash, so you will see there are so many commands that you can use to, to help yourself to write the code faster. You can go and explore each and everything, but today we will see how we can generate a unit test cases, first thing. So example, I want a copilot to write a unit test case for this uh, plugin, for this CS file. First, I'll select the code. I will go and type slash and I'll search for a test. So I'll click on this and then I'll press enter. Now Copilot is generating a unit test case file for me. So let's see. Okay, it looks good. Now you have an option to see it into your editor. So I have applied the editor and if you see, it has used MOQ library to generate the unit test case and see it has generated everything line by line. Of course, I can accept it, but you have to just go and check if it has done everything correct. So according to me, it has created test method and then it has properly used all the parameters, go ahead and everything. So for now, you, this is it. I mean, it's done. It's done. It has generated as the unit test case file. And now if you want, you can save your file. Let me do that. Test.cs. So I have saved my file because I think it is okay. But it always suggests you to go and check if it is good because there can be some mistakes. Uh, I mean, by copilot, but yes. So see, in a minute, we have generated the unit test case. Now just go and check if it looks good. You can just accept it or you can, you know, just change it according to you. Now, this is the first thing. Second thing is, let's say you are coding and you don't know what this code is doing. For example, you are functional people, so you may try to understand the code in a deeper sense. What you can do is you can just select the code and ask Copilot, please explain me the code by just typing slash explain and press enter. So see, it will start explaining you the selected code line by line. So this is how you can just check what it is doing and you are good. Okay, now let's say I have, uh, I want Copilot to, to just check my code if it is good or if, if it sees any mistake. So which command I can use? So if you don't remember, you can also just check here. But right now I want, uh, I want, I know the command is fix. So let me just click fix, press enter. So what Copilot will do is it will check all the code. Here is the corrected code. It is suggesting me the issue in the code is that this is null. Check is incorrect. It should be like this to ensure that the code executes only when this is not null. So see how beautifully it has explained. Plus it has given me the code. So you can do one thing. Either you copy the code, change it, or you can just ask Copilot that, okay, apply it in the editor and I will check it and I'll accept it. So these are certain things with the help of Copilot. You can just quickly write the unit test cases. You can ask Copilot to fix the code. You can ask Copilot to, to you know, explain you the code. And let's say if I if I'm doing some mistake here. So let's say I just see this bulb icon. Okay, no, I want to see the Copilot icon in this. So let's say there is a mistake. Okay, and if I try to, this is done, right? So if I try to ask Copilot that you know uh, can you please check the code for me if there are any mistakes it will also sort and give you the same thing which uh, we have done right now with the help of chat box so this is how you can ask copilot to do anything for you and it will make your life easier so i would suggest just go explore all the other commands that can be useful for you and uh, 
you can start using github copilot so that's it for today um uh, you can check my other videos also on power pages which i have created before if you are interested i can create more videos for you but as of now that's it for today and thank you so much if you like my video please hit like and subscribe to my channel to motivate me thank you so much bye bye